Hey, man, torture talk. Like, share, subscribe to the page. Today, I want to talk about 50 Cent and him endorsing Donald Trump. And there's two reasons why I think that's the case. Before I get into that, like, share, subscribe to the page. You know what it is. Hit that notification bell. And, you know, if you want to donate, link is in the description. All right, man. Somebody was over there, so I'm just looking. All right, man, listen. I'm just going to go on record and say 50 Cent endorsed Donald Trump. One of the reasons why, and I'm going to say, this is, this, for me, how I feel. The reason why he endorsed Donald Trump, because Puffy endorsed, uh, Puffy endorsed uh, Joe Biden. Now, that's not, that's just me on, on just me, how I feel. That's one of the reasons why I feel. The second reason is 50, I think 50 was always cool with Donald Trump. I don't think they ever had a issue with each other i think puffy is cool with donald trump too but i think puffy i think puffy has a bigger or a greater agenda and i want to talk about puffy in the next video um but i'll get to him later anyway so he comes out with a video i mean he comes out with a, a tweet or whatever you want to call it because twitter twitter Tweets down are, are the big thing now. So he tweets basically saying he, he, he screenshotted Biden's tax taxes and how they're going to go up in, in the major cities. And he said, basically, he basically said, and I'm paraphrasing, he basically said, this is fucking nuts. I am not, I'm not doing this. There's no way I'm going to do this. I'm fucking out of here. So he, Basically saying he's moving out of New York. And let, let me just be clear with y'all. This is a big thing. And a lot of y'all probably don't know this. A lot of pop y'all probably don't care. But the reason why I'm saying it's a big thing, because one of the major reasons why is because everybody is leaving the major cities. And when I say everybody, I don't mean like the people that live there. I'm saying the people that are rich or who are who, who have money who employ a lot of people, they're leaving. One of the major reasons why they're leaving is because they can go to another state where they don't pay any taxes or less taxes and they can either pay their employers more or they can keep more money for themselves. Now, this is not about feelings. This is not about how you feel or how what, what's morally right. This is about money. And we all know people don't always do things morally right, whether it's about money or not. So that's out the way. Number two, you're asking these people to pay more in taxes, but then you wonder why they're not employing people because they can't afford to. See, here's how it works. And I'm not a tax expert, so let's just put that out there. But I learned a little bit, but here's how it works. And the reason why I say, when I say the trickle down effect versus the trickle up effect or versus being neutral on both sides. See, the trickle down effect is you pay the, the, uh, the rich pay the poor. And they say the rich stay rich and the poor stay poor. But the, the reason why that's the case is because this country is built off employment. This is not a country where everybody is on the same level because if that's the case, then it will be a lot more poor people. Let's say for example, if they put everybody on the same level, everybody can't be on the same level because everybody don't have the same education. Everybody don't have the same work ethic. Everybody don't have the same drive. Everybody don't have the same uh, transportation. Everybody don't have the same communication skills. So you can't put everybody on the same level. Not to say that rich people or people who are wealthy are more successful because they're smarter or whatever. It's just some of these people have have drive. So let's take take let's take Trump for example. 
Trump has been campaigning even after he had the COVID, maybe three or four days after he was diagnosed with COVID and he, and he got cured, of course. Most people won't have that type of drive. A lot of people don't have that work ethic. He's 74 years old and he's still flying around talking to people. A lot of people don't have work ethic. So when you say, when you say stuff like put people on the same level as each other, it's going to be a time where people are not going to be able to keep up. So you got to put that in, you got to keep that into, 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 uh, put that into perspective because everybody doesn't have the same drive, period. So the trickle down effect is the employer employs employees and the employees work for the employer. The thing is the employer takes more risks than the employees. That's another thing that they're not telling y'all that the employer takes more risks. The employer takes out the insurance. The employer buys the supplies, the employee, the employer does all these things, but the employee doesn't. They just work and put something together. Their role is essential, but it's not more important. Just like the employee or the employer role is essential. So either way, you can't put them on the same level. It won't work. So when you remove these rich companies or these companies who employ all these people, they're going to move their people with them. Do you think that they're going to say, hey, listen, we're relocating. Some people might not go, but they're going to give their, especially if they're good workers, they're going to say, hey, listen, we're going to help y'all. And, and if they got, let's say, let's say for instance, I had a company with 15 people and, I, and we made, and I made millions and millions and millions of dollars a year and I paid them a good salary. And I said, Hey, listen, our studio is moving. We're relocating. And they're getting paid good money. They're going to relocate with me. So now you have these people relocating and you're not, uh, you're not really add into it to your to your uh your state so now in the state so let's say for example like california is going to get hit hard and new york is going to get hit hard because california new york has a lot going on and the taxes are high so who do you think this is going to fall on when these big companies remove themselves and there's no more employment do you think that the people in new york or these uh these 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 how would i say these governors and mayors, you think they're gonna slash taxes for y'all? No, they're gonna end up increasing taxes on y'all because they can't afford certain things or they don't wanna pay. So now you have all these people who are, uh, let's say, you have all these people living in these states, basically paying more and in, in New York, I think a one bedroom is like 1500 to 2500 Nobody wants to pay that. And if and then if you have all these people who are unemployed, there's not, not going to be enough of regular, really good jobs because all the good companies are going to leave. So if you have, let's say, for instance, McDonald's ain't going to be paying you enough for you to afford your rent. So you might even be making 16, 17 dollars an hour at McDonald's, but you still have to get to work, still got to take care of your kids. It's a bunch of different reasons. So it's going to be nuts. And this is the thing that people are not paying attention to. These people are already rich. They don't have to pay taxes. They don't have to pay for anything. Actually, Barack Obama could go inside, inside the store. He might decide to pull out some money and pay but most of the time, they'll be like, no, it's free. He could go through a McDonald's drive-thru and they're going to give him his meal for free. Period. He doesn't have to pay for anything. A lot of these politicians are like that. They don't have to pay for anything. They don't have to pay for health insurance, all that stuff. They have the best care. So when they say stuff like, they're going to take your Medicaid away. They're going to take your health care away. You, how are you telling me this? When you don't even pay for that either. You don't even have to do that. When they go on the organ donors list, they're first, not you. You think they're gonna give 
uh, you a kidney over Barack Obama? Hell no. They're going to give him the kidney first. Simple as that. So with that being said, I commend 50 Cent. Just like I commended Ice Cube. I commend them both because they have the they have the smarts to do it. Not that they have the balls. It's the smarts. And I think 50 Cent is a very smart man. And he knows what he wants. And even if Trump loses, even if Trump loses, a lot of these companies are going to leave anyway. If Trump wins, they might stay. But that's the thing. When the when when the taxes are not that much, the companies are okay with paying it because they they're in a good space and they can pay their employees. But when the taxes are extremely high, yeah, they getting out of Dodge. Torture talk. Like, share, subscribe to the page. You know what it is.